Hey, everybody, this is Buddy. You ain't gonna believe this. They're getting rid of the black bags, but they charging for these. How much a big bag? Twenty-five. Twenty dollars and a little bag, five dollars. Ten for the little, twenty for the big one. Wow! Y'all on YouTube. <laughs> Later. And you, did you get the sign? The sign. It says, notice to our Valley customers, due to the ban on single-use plastic bags, we are urging people to take along with them bag when shopping. Yeah. Take along with them bag when shopping. Good English. Good English. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they're finally getting rid of the of the uh, the black bags at this lo one location. Oh yeah, this island down away. Where's the oil at? You got it already. I'm taking the boat out. We this is Kimberly's rent boat. So you come to Jamaica. You can rent a boat and see the Luminous Lagoon, daytime or night, go up to Marfa Bray. And that's Kimberly, y'all wave. That's Kimberly and, how you say her name, Jerry? Jerry, yeah. Jerry is number one boat guy. This is his son. How you say your name, brother? Yeah. This is brother. And this is the boat. You'll get a better picture of it later, but this is what, this is what's gonna get me across to uh, over there when the wind is blowing. You got to do this. So you're going to the channel markers, or you you know where to go. All right. So we do have a uh, way to rent boats when you come to the Loomis Lagoon or the Blue House, and uh, do the Airbnb. I'm. This is my first time to be actually on the boat this year. So. Well, I'm back at Dennis's. Uh, kite's okay. Bar's okay. Impact vest okay. Seat harness almost okay. Uh, there's a piece missing. <laughs> it's the safety leash. I was... <laughs> it's one of them things when you're in the water don't take something like that off and uh, they do not float <laughs> well we got we got a, a bunch more but I hate losing it all right if you're to see the video that what occurred leaving this leaving the sandy beach you would have thought that I was gonna have a hard time kiting and you would have been right. I should have pumped the kite up and just sat there and looked at it. There was not enough wind. I mean, it feels really windy. It feels really good on the lagoon. But, I mean, the wind has got to be above 15, 16, 17 before I ever go out again. And I don't care. It looks like it's going to be kind of low winds for three or four days. I am not going out again in low wind. I went out in Burwood Beach. Now I went out in uh, this is my first time to come in this lagoon. So I learned my lesson. Um, the boat didn't quit on us, but we there as we bring it in, they're servicing it. But uh, the young guy is named Brother. He, um, I should have educated him more about, in case I got all the way over to the rocks, you see, see the ship? I was behind the ship and coming up on them rocks, but he came from over there to get me. And uh, so, long story short, when you're gonna do something like this and you're working with a boat captain that's never did a boat rescue, don't do it. Don't even, you gotta do a lot of talking and a lot of planning. And that's something he and I didn't do. And uh, yeah, I was overzealous. I wanted to kite, and it won't happen again. It won't happen again. All right, that's just the ugly truth of it. The second time I went out in low wind, and I can't do that. <laughs> Not again. That is a beautiful, beautiful place to kite from. I will master it. 
I will master it. Yep. All right, that's enough. I got to go.